it's uh, 8 30 in the morning second day of this Camino we're just heading, heading out of the hotel after a pretty good breakfast here actually we're looking at 25k probably the longest distance of this of this uh, week we are looking at and uh, weather forecast cloudy uh, yeah what can I guess temperature 10 10 12 degrees and um, they are uh, saying it will rain today but we have to see about that so yes we are we are in good mood uh, bodies a little bit sore but we're we keep on walking <laughs> Let me give you some thoughts for the day. You know, here we're walking, and I think back on the time of Jesus and the early church in Acts of the Apostles. Um, what you have to kind of think is that the message of Jesus, the gospel, could only travel as fast as, as you could walk. You know, no cars, so no, nothing like that. So literally, people had to take the gospel and walk to the next town or to the next place in order to to spread it think about that um, and then you think about how jesus was uh, he was living in a small geographical area at the time he didn't go far and wide he, he was just in a really local area and then you think about Paul, um, who uh, took the gospel to the then known world, to the basically the Roman Empire around. And he had like, it could only travel as fast as, fast as he could uh, walk, uh, ride on horseback or travel by boat. And imagine that this gospel of Jesus could spread in that way at that time and and then interpret it to to this time we're living in today I, I, I used to say that today we can be mission missionaries we could spread the gospel and share the message of Jesus while we're actually on the toilet Th that's how simple and fast it is with a few clicks on, on your phone um you can you can literally spread the gospel to the ends of the world through internet through online you don't have to meet anyone in person you don't have to go outside your home you don't have to you know you don't have to you can be in your couch uh, and share the gospel of jesus spread the message to the ends of the world think about that what impact that could have really if we are serious about it if we're serious to to spread the gospel you know using social media and whatever the medium to that carried the gospel at Jesus time was the feet the horsebacks and the, the, the boat and the medium today is our phones really we're having our first real break of the day we are almost we are nine kilometers and uh, almost two hours pretty much non-stop so it's a well-deserved break and uh, no coffee shops in sight but we have some water and some energy bars to keep us going first coffee break of the day after 11 kilometers almost halfway of the 25 we're doing today uh, it's drizzling rain so we had to have a raincoat on it's not pouring down but uh, yeah so we spent a bit of time here in a, in a small coffee shop which had actually pretty good coffee here um, we met we we caught up with a few coming from behind us and now we're heading off yeah again 
to see what uh, what lies ahead of us. Okay, we're having a break here at a, a La Fuente de Peregrino. It's yeah, a, it's an albergue, and we're on the Camino. A lot of times in the world, the world's taking things from us, but at the La Fuente, we want to give back, and so we offer free cafe, free coffee, free tea, bathrooms. We try to have the cleanest bathrooms on the whole Camino. <laughs> and just be a blessing to people. So people leave with their bodies filled with warmth of coffee, but also their souls filled, hopefully. And so we're volunteers this week and hoping just to let people on the Camino experience a little bit of a blessing. And it's all a gift. We just give to people because we've experienced so much love in our lives that we want to share the love with others. And so, yeah, good to meet you and have you on this Camino journey with us. So. Yeah, we came here, it's been raining, and you came here and you immediately felt something about this place. You're not the first person that said that. <laughs> Many people say, there's something about this that's different than every other cafe. It's because God is with us and, and people have this need in their lives. So anyways, we try to help people if they're searching to experience that as well. So. Great. This was a great experience to, to have a break here. Yeah, Good God luck. bless you. Yeah, thank you. God, God bless, bless you. you. Buen Camino. Yes. Buen Camino. Here is an interesting sign. It says, first of all, René, catch up please. Signed by something, something. <laughs> I wonder who René is and who wants to catch up with him. And here, at the end, 100 kilometers, tourists go home. Palas de Rey is our final destination of today. I'm here by the sign. We, uh, we're, we have 20k at the moment. Should be around 5k left. Uh, An hour walking or so. It's really picking up rain and it's almost hailing at the moment. I see people they're trying to hide the, be, between something so yeah it's getting it's getting tough now you know one one thing also along the way the Camino is you pass you pass by some some small church like this who knows how this how all this is and you can just uh, stay and have a short time of contemplation look uh, go around to give to give a yeah it's a nice break yeah so this is also part of the Camino you know remembering the Christian uh, story and the Christian uh, heritage uh, along the way you see now I have my cap on because it's raining it's raining on and off so as soon as you're about to get dry shower comes and along the way recently, we, we, it was a long uh, downhill, we met a lady, she was uh, limping, her knee was uh, getting hurt. And I, I happened to have like a bandage in my, in my backpack, just in case. So we, we stopped and gave it to her and, and helped to bandage her so she, could, so she could walk on. I mean, that's also part of this pilgrim, like you help each other out. If, if I have something you need to get you to get you where you're going, I share it. I mean, not to brag, but but this is also part of part of uh, part of the pilgrim pilgrimage. We're about to end the day, the stage of the day. We were standing still for a few minutes, and you got stiff like like a log, <laughs> uh, just standing still. We have 33,000 steps of the day or I have at least we are about 10 minutes to the to the accommodation where we're gonna spend the night so that's it for today see you tomorrow